Hello and welcome to Mountain Blade Warband. Third part of my Swadian Knight Army Objective series. <laughs> That's a weird name for it. Anyways, we're going to be turning the combat AI up to average until I get a little bit better. Then we will turn it up to the hardest difficulty, which is actually good. Uh, we will also be turning up combat speed to the faster when I turn up my combat AI to good. Whenever I feel like I am ready for that. Or <laughs> whenever you guys tell me to, I don't know. This episode, I'm pretty sure our guy's in ruins. Yeah, there he is. I can't see him like this. I was like, where is our guy? Like, I'm pretty sure my army was right there. Yeah, he was hiding behind the house there. Just got back from the gym, so I'm a little fatigued and out of it. But I guess when you're trying to be an entertainer, you know, you that's what you gotta be able to do is entertain at your worst, you know? Okay, so they're five and we are... Uh, I don't know. Um, 5.8. Okay, we have to remember that. If we ever see a bandit party that is faster than us... That we don't think we can take on, we have to book it straight away. Book it to a to a town or a castle because from there you can just stay in their inn. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go after these forest bandits right here. Actually, there's 13 of them and 23 of us. Uh, it looks like there's actually 21, 20, and I'm not even at full health. I, I will actually lose a lot of men if I decide to take on 13 forest bandits. I do not think that is actually a good idea until I at least get more upgraded men. See? Even they think they could take me on. They were following me. Did you see that crap? Okay, these guys though, I know I could take on. Oh, but they're faster than me because they have less men than I do. Oh, if I had some... If I had some of that pathfinding skill over there, I would help me catch up to them. But I do not have pathfinding, and I'm not going to get pathfinding personally. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to have specific characters, such as Deshavi. And maybe Bundik. Companions that you can get, just like Fyrant is here. They will be the ones who will take on the burden of having stupid little skills like that. See, I'm going to get Power Strike. I'm going <laughs> to become powerful. They're gonna be over here. Yeah, one sweating recruit. I'll take him. I got enough money to last me a while, actually. Hmm. From here, where should I go? I feel like I need. I I want to start taking on looter parties and some quests as well. But to do that, I need more men. Cause let me tell you, I don't want to lose that many men. And right now. Uh, at 25 men with very little experienced troops like I only have two swatting and footmen which isn't that great but if I can get about 10 footmen then I'll be comfortable taking on parties of like 15 bandits because you really won't lose anyone but with the amount of re recruits that I have right now a lot of them will die in a forest bandit fight because those forest bandits deal a lot of damage and they have ranged weapons and your recruits don't necessarily have good shield start at, to start out with. Okay, we have to take out this bandit party. Are you kidding me? I'm going to lose men, but I'm going to gain four manhunters and that's my quest right now. I'm going to get a manhunter army to gain just so much money. Like, trust me, you guys, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but a manhunter army, you are you have unlimited money pretty much like you can go walk into any town and just buy out their inventory of armor and weapons and all that okay now if these forest bandits decide to team up they can take me on and I, I will definitely lose that so I'm gonna s stay away from this guy for a little bit yeah they took me on but I don't think they're we can do this the, easy way. the, the, the second way. party that you saw I don't think he's close enough to reinforce them nope so it is 31 versus 16. Yeah, as you saw, that forest bandit party that is attacking us now, he was running away from us. But then, 
he came into contact with another friendly force bandit party. So he thought the two of those parties could take me on, and they could, which is why he attacked me. But he was just barely out of range. The second party. The second party was barely out of range to reinforce this party that is attacking me now. So, well, good luck to you. I'm just going to tell my men to charge. Or, actually, I'm actually liking this hill. Uh, how do I get rid of that? Stay here, everybody. Hold that position and get closer. We need to hide behind this hill for as long as we can. If this hill is even big enough. If they don't stop firing at me, then that means I just need a charge. So stand closer. Yeah, they're still fire. My horse. My horse is... Okay, everyone charge. That's it. I'm going to just take on as much archer fire as I can because... Like I said, these guys will murder my recruits before they even get to me, before my recruits even get to the forest soldiers. I'm actually taking a lot of arrows for my men right now. Uh, well, not me, my horses. My horses. Okay, yes, I will lose a lot of men. Probably, I'm gonna guess five. Okay, we're already up to three. Okay, I'm, when I say lose, I mean, like, men die. Okay, I think we've lost six at this point. We're, we're losing a lot more than five. And I forgot, I cannot go down or we lose the battle. So I'm just gonna turn off, let my men kill him, with the excuse of I want my men to kill him so they can gain more experience. But in reality, I am scared shitless. <laughs> and I really don't wanna die, because I'm so used to mods. If you do go down, your men just keep fighting and the battle doesn't end, but vanilla version, the battle ends. Okay, like I said, my sound is delayed, so it sounds like there are enemies behind me all the freaking time. Okay, we won that battle, like I said. Pro I'm gonna guess seven men. Oh, we lost ten. Okay, but what did we lose? Seven recruits? Oh, no, we lost a footman and two militia. I don't think I'm gonna... My recruits have gained enough experience to be able to replace those men yet. So, uh, I, 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 I'm saying it was a good trade-off because we were able to get these manhunters, and that is really what I want. I want a very big army of manhunters. 70 is enough. I mean, I can go for 100, but no, 70 is just enough, okay? <laughs> wow. Wow. Do you see how many men... We just... Okay, now I have to be careful. If I upgrade this many guys, that is 120 dinars, okay? So I will only have 120 left. No, I will have 100 left. Now, as you see, the weekly cost is actually pretty high right now. If I upgrade this, I will not be able to pay the weekly cost. As you can see, if I, I can't pay the weekly cost in the bottom right, it's more money than I actually have. But the reason I did upgrade my men anyways is because I captured forest bandits. I can't. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I can't actually get to... Reset, reset. I gotta... Okay. Are you... So when you... <sighs> That's what I was trying to do first. Is capture those forest bandits so I could sell them for money. So I will be able to pay my troop wages as they come up. Okay, let's do that again, though. We have still two Swanian footmen, but now we have 12 Swanian militia. Wow. Forest bandits really give your recruits a lot of experience, but that is because forest bandits are very hard. They're... They kill your recruits like butter, man. Like... Like... Like a chainsaw in butter. Um, okay, how do I return? Okay, I press B. That is definitely not better than our armor, and I'm pretty sure we have... That is better than our armor, and I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I did... Wow, that was... I did not expect that to be better than our armor. That... It doesn't look better, does it? Like, it looks like this thing would protect me more. But this thing actually has leg armor, which is good because I am on a horse. So when people swing at me, they have a tendency to hit my legs. And so the better leg armor I have... The less damage I will take, and it is really good for me. Okay, I will not be taking on those forest bandits. 20 versus 16, I will not be taking on those forest bandits. Okay, as you can see, remember how I was 5.8 speed? Watch this. 
I'm now 3.6. Oh, that's in the forest. When you're in the forest, you move slower. So, ah, oh, now it's night. And when it's night, you move slower. Come on, man. I just want to show the people that you move slower with forest bandits in your party. Like, even though I gained four manhunters, which means four cavalry, uh, they, they actually make your move speed on the map go faster. <gasps> Dude, we have our first man of arms. Uh, and this guy will upgrade to a Swadia Knight, and that is what I want my army to consist of, is a fuck ton of Swadia Knights. I'm not even gonna get any ranged units. That will be for another series. I will have a, an actual army, you know, infantry, cavalry, skirmishers, the likes. That will be for another series, though, definitely. This series, I'm just going to make the most OP army that I think you can get in this game. Like, I've had an army of Huskarls. And everything, and I mean, Swati and Nias just seem to destroy way better than any other um, any other army could. So, return. We're going to go into Suno. We're going to sell the loot that we just gained from that forest bandit party. Okay, that is actually quite a bit of money that we need. A ransom broker. Yes, that is what I need right now. And I wish to sell all of my prisoners. Do you want to sell all of your prisoner? Yes. Now, it didn't tell me how much money I got. I was fully expecting it to. We will just go over to party and 589. We actually got, I would guess, probably 250 maybe. I mean, forest bandits sell for quite a bit, about 50 dinars per each. So, that was pretty good actually. And now our weekly cost, that is actually way higher than it's ever been in this Let's play, of course, because I am constantly gaining men and upgrading men. All right. Um, I think we can take on a smaller... Uh, well, once we are healed up all the way, once we have 27 out of 27 men, I am fairly confident that we can take on another 16. Yeah, 16. Okay, I don't know how to check their inventory. Never mind. I want to show you that they do have shields. But they also have crossbows. So when you're fighting forest bandits with Swadian militia, you want, you need to turn off fire at will. Otherwise, your Swadian militia will take out the crossbows, and they suck with crossbows. And the um, forest bandits will just shoot your Swadian militia to fucking hell. Um, so you have to turn off fire at will, at least for infantry. If you have archers, you can still have their fire at will be on and they will continue firing but you do not want your swanian militia oh i can't I, I feel like in the vanilla version you can actually go to these caravans and you can ask them can i lead you to your location for money so can i lead you to tahirim if that is where you're going and they will say yes for 200 dinars and you can protect them along the right way because as you can see there are many bandits in this game and they do attack caravans they there are battles right now as we speak there are battles going on all along the map let's say there's a band party here of deserters and they're attacking a caravan they kill that caravan they actually take the prisoners of that caravan that just got killed and then we can go over there, kill that deserter party, and gain those prisoners. So, it's not, like, really random. Like, you're not just running into this area, and then the game is spawning in bandit parties for you. It is actually, like, th this caravan party that we just talked to. Uh, this one, right? Let's say we, we can actually find this caravan later in the game, but... No, well, yes, we can. We can talk to him later in the game. It'll have the same amount of troops, maybe a little bit more, because it gained more, because it was able to trade and get more money for troops. But if we find a bandit party, we can find a bandit party with these prisoners. The, if a bandit party kills this caravan and takes prisoners of this caravan, we can actually meet those prisoners again. So it's not randomly generated. It is It is actually constant like it's ev everything going on is there and it's actually happening right now i 
I think I think that's how it works. Oh no way, dude! Swati actually took a castle. Usually the Nords, because they have the strongest infantry, they are very good at sieges. They are very good at taking towns and castles. And I usually see Swadia die, because as you can see, they are in the middle. They are surrounded on every side by every faction, which increases the chance of that faction declaring war on Swadia. So, pretty much every single game I've ever played, Swadia is always at war with like two or three people, and they get decimated. Like, I don't know, 30, 30 in game days from now, they may only have Praven, they may only have this one castle. Because everything else has been taken. But but if they can take as much territory as they can right now, that'll be a buffer for when everyone else declares war on them. And hopefully they can hold out. Because I, I do like the Kingdom of Swadia. I guess because they have that disadvantage. Everybody declares war on them. I know, not much gameplay, just me talking. Let's go find some forest bandit parties. I may speed it up. Okay, yes, yes. In future episodes... Once I figure how to actually speed up the video and skip parts of the video, I will have more battles, more gameplay, and you won't have to see me running around the map as I am right now. But I have to figure that out first, because <laughs> I got no fucking clue. I do have a clue. It's one of the options, and <laughs> one of those buttons. There are so many fucking buttons in my in the recording software. So many things to do. So many. I may just upload this video as quickly as I can today, get this video out, record another episode, and just spend as long as I can practicing editing. Like having special effects, you know, just all that stuff. Um, parts of the video will be skipped. So you don't have to sit here for 20 minutes just watching me walk around the map. Oh, we saw deserters, and I think they were running away from us, which means we can take them on. I kind of wish I had pathfinding because we could follow them instead of running around the map randomly hoping we randomly ho run into them. <sighs> yeah, I'm not finding many... Mm, oh, Yellow Bee is looted probably by... Probably by... Oh, there we go. It's a mouse. If we click on Kingdom of Swati, we can actually see all of their territory, all of their lords, and their relation with other factions. So they are at war with the Kurgit Khanate, and they are at peace with everyone else. So they must have taken the castle from the Nords, and then went to peace with the Nords. Crap, I'm moving. I do not... I, I need to know where I am before I start moving. Otherwise, a bandit party will attack me, and I... Because I won't be able to run away from it in time. I'm feeling very bad that I did not get to do more battles. I, I don't know. That, oh, nothing to eat. Also, if your party has nothing to eat, they will lose morale. And that's a bad thing because we haven't had a battle in a while, which means our morale is probably pretty low. It's probably average. It's above average. Okay. If that goes to like low or something, you will start losing men. So let's go get more food for our troops, increase our morale, and hopefully... We it's been 18 minutes, but there's a tournament in the city. Ah, oh, come on. There is a lot of bread here. That is another thing. If you buy all of this bread, see, watch this, watch this. I'm going to buy this. Oh, okay. You see that? Do you see that? How every single piece of bread here is 45. It's only 45, right? So I buy one. Oh, wait, the next one. Oh, they're all 47 now. Wait a minute. They're all 48. Oh, they're all 49. That's because when the town starts running low on resources, it increases how much that resource costs. So if it's running low on bread, and that's the same thing. Let's say I go and I t buy all of this bread, and I try to go sell it at another town, such as Suno over here. If I sell one piece of bread for 30 dinars, the next piece of bread will be 29. Because then they don't have so much of a... Like, they have more pieces of bread, you know? We're going to attack these looters, and the next episode, we will do that tournament. And since I said that I would try to um, become better at editing, I will actually try to skip the boring parts of the video 
and get into more battling. Unless you like the commentary, unless you like me rambling on about all the different things of the game. Hopefully you're understanding them because I can't actually show you. I can, but that's not what I- Okay! Yes! Manhunters! And uh, man at arms. Manhunters will knock out these looters and I will get prisoners and I can go make money. So one way to juke out the enemy, let's say I'm running at him and he's blocking. So I can't actually, like, I go to hit and he blocks it. One way to cheat the AI is to block with your shield real quick. And then the AI thinks that, like, the AI stops blocking because you're not swinging anymore, right? Oh man, I'll show you more, a I'll actually, like... In the tournament, that's what I'll do. I'll 1v1 some guy in the tournament, and I will show you how that works. Because as you're going to swing, he's blocking, right? So if you swing, he blocks it. But if you block with your shield really quick, and then go to swing again, when you block with your shield, he goes to attack you, because there's nothing to block anymore. And then you just attack him as he's going to swing. You can swing faster than him, because... Because you can. It really depends on the weapon. Because weapons have different speeds to them. And we got a slave driver. Which is an upgraded... He just does more damage pretty much. Has more armor probably. Yes. I like these things so for a lot. The falcons. So we should get a lot of money from that. Stones usually only sell for one. So I have, I have advanced to level 3. That's actually good. Because... We want to be pretty skilled before this tournament. I am only level 3, so I'm not going to win this tournament, in my opinion. But it's definitely a good thing to try and do, because it will level me up more without having to fight actual enemies that can knock me out, kill my men, take all my stuff. Because if you lose your army, if you lose the battle, they will go into your inventory and there's a chance that they, they will take some of your stuff. So let's say you have a awesome fucking like 10,000 dinar sword. It's fucking epic. You get knocked out in battle. All your men die. They, there's a possibility they will take your sword. And shit. <laughs> so 22 minutes of this video. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry. Um, about not getting too too much action. I hope the commentary was fun enough. Like I said, comment what you like to see. Comment what you want to see. I will, if you don't tell me that you like the commentary, you like me just running around the map talking, and you don't mind not, not, not having too many videos, later in the game, there will definitely be way more Forest Bandits, way more action. But if you just, if you like the commentary, tell me. And I won't be skipping parts of the video and other videos. But I think, yes, I will upload this real quick, record another one, but like edit it to, to help figure out how to do that stuff. Thank you for watching. And I will see you. No, I won't see you. You'll hear me. And hopefully I'll see your comment in the next video. I <laughs> see y'all later. I'm not see. God damn it. Uh, thank you for watching that one.